Good morning, Mr. Weinstein. Good morning. Uh, we we uh, saw a few questions coming back from the jurors this morning. Uh, I, I want to talk about all the questions, but I don't have a lot of time. I want to talk about the one where they asked about the watch. And obviously the judge gave the instruction about, uh, you know, a lawyer's testimony is not evidence. But it's interesting that the jurors even asked that question. Uh, and it goes to Detective Viverito's or Investigator Viverito's uh, credibility. Do you think that the, the answer will suffice the jurors' understanding of the judge's response? You know, you know, it's hard for me to get in the jurors' heads as to why they would ask about the watch. But if you remember, the question was, did I say that it was my client's watch or did I call refer to it as the watch? And the only thing I'm guessing that they were trying to figure out from that was if it was my client's watch, maybe he was living in the home. And so, of course, I never said that. I had always said it was Jeffrey's watch. And so if I referred to it in closing, I never would have said that I would have ne never said my client's watch. So I'm, I'm thinking they were just trying to make sure that that maybe one juror thought, well, maybe that indicated he lived there because his watch, if I, if I had said that, which I didn't, his watch was in Jeffrey's closet. Um, and I don't know. I was hoping they just asked that to dispel that and, issue. And, and obviously, Mr. Still is not here right. because of the, the, the plea deal. Uh, that question may have been asked of Mr. Still, but since you were there bringing up the watch, mm -hmm. uh, they may have honed in on it because they... Well, yeah, I was the one that was asking about the watch because, again, Mr. Steele was not here to ask about it. I'm sure he would have been asking about it. And my, as I told the judge, while well, the judge called it a red herring, I mean, um, and, it and, really and I think she meant that in a complimentary <laughs> way for, for sure. But again, my point was this goes to the integrity of law enforcement. And, that's and, and I, I caught that right away. I mean, wait a minute, we, we're, we're red herring. That's why you was asking about the watch. She, she knew that, she knew that. So. <laughs> but you clear, you made sure she understood that no, you I wasn't sure. trying to, I made sure. you know. But I the other question is, there were three counts, uh, 59, and I get the numbers 50, right. I believe it was 50, Six? 59 50, and 61. Okay. Or it okay. could have been 57, 58, and 61, I'm sorry. Can't what remember. can you glean from the, uh, the answer to the question if you if you find him uh if the marijuana is connected to the other two charges mm -hmm. would they have to be connected to the other two charges well i think they were trying to understand the interrelatedness of yeah, those right. three and to me the only thing that connects them together is the intent to distribute marijuana plus they asked another question about intent so i think they were trying to understand that marijuana intent to distribute marijuana aspect of it which is why i was really glad that the judge gave that instruction that, well, you have to eat, consider each one separately, but intent to distribute marijuana must be found for you to find guilty on any of those. Last question. Miss Love was kind of uh, uh, acting as the director of the, the, the four, four videos being shown. I, I, I had knots in my stomach when she was talking. I don't know why she, you know, it's just her, you know, being so, I, obviously she's the head of the prosecutor, but, you know, you know, honing in on those clips, and then why there were many clips. The well, jurors, jurors asked for a specific. Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to make sure, and that's why I approached the bench again, I just wanted to make sure that they, especially because they began playing clips that were not requested by the juror, so I just wanted to get that stopped right away before other things came in, and that the state only played those clips that the court ordered them to play and no others. So I wanted to, given my past experience, with the previous prosecution team and seeing as how the leader of that team was back down there, I just wanted to make sure that they followed the court's directives. Last question. Last night I watched uh, day number two. Yeah. I watched the, obviously, the, close, the opening openings. Okay. Today is a year from the day. That's what I heard, yeah. It, uh, is that coincidence? Because this is so... No, this <laughs> is perfect. This is exactly where this story should end. Okay? We'll talk later. Thank yeah, you. Yes, sir.